Hello students. In previous video, we have created our first database using our first database in MySQL using PHP MyAdmin tool. In this tutorial, we will create <coughs> table in that database. So let's get started. Specify the URL for PHP MyAdmin and press enter. You will find the login page. Specify username and password and click on go. When you click on go, you will find that PHP MyAdmin's home page is open in which you will find test database which we have created in previous video. So just click on that. When you go on test database, here you can find the name of database. So currently it is test database. That means we are in test database. So when once we are in test database, we can create any number of tables we want to in this database. For creating table, you may use this form. In this form, we must specify name of table and number of columns which we needed in our table. So for this video, I will specify our table's name as users. You may specify any name to this table. It depends on you. And I specify the number of columns which I want to in the database in the database table. I specify right now I need five columns. So I specify number of columns as five and click on go. When you click on go, you will find that a create table dialog box is open. In this dialog box, you can specify the five column names and their data types, respective data types along with their constraints. Let's get started. First, I created a column with name id having type int and I will set its auto increment property this at checked. This auto increment property <coughs> tells MySQL database server that this id will be auto incremented must be auto incremented by MySQL server. It is not necessary for all columns to be auto incremented only check this property for those columns which you want to be unique generally primary keys of the table are unique so this id will be primary key of our users table that's why i have set i set it as auto increment behind auto increment you will find index column in this index column select primary this will tell mysql that this id is primary index that means it is a primary key next i will specify one more column with name username it must have it will have a data type varchar and its length could be 50 characters this tells that username column may have 50 characters as a value then password I will set its data type as wirecare and specify the same length for uh, password to then new column named full name will specify as wirecare 150 and user type I will set it as wirecare 2 15 this user type column will represent the type of this user it could be admin it could be guest, it could be teacher, student, um, TPO, HOD, anything. You can store it as per your requirements. Once done with all this, just scroll down and click on save. You will find that a table with name users is created. You can find it here also. When you click on users table, you will find the structure of the table in this structure tab if you click on browse tab you will find that the browse mysql return nothing that means it does not have any record right now so using this method you can create any number of tables in your database in next tutorial in next video we'll find how to create multiple tables in mysql and how to relate them with each other. Thank you.